My name is Tom Mahoa, and I'm uh, 66 years old, and I'm a uh, sophomore at the University of Minnesota. Um, the job I was in kind of went downhill fast at the recession. I was sitting there with uh, a lot of time and not a whole lot of money, but you know, I figured I'd you know, spend a few days here and keep my brain sharp. Right. I had some, some learning disabilities. Being uh, a victim of uh, child sexual abuse, it leaves you with a lot of baggage and a lot of things that are hard to deal with. And, and I hid from it for so long. You know, I, when these kids here, when I was there, they, these guys the age, I didn't want to have a thing to do it. I wouldn't ever speak about it. When he, want to even bring anything up about it because I was so ashamed and I was hiding in the silence. The parish priest was when I was 11 years old. The priest was the right hand of God and you're supposed to listen to him no matter what. Um, what he says is, is God's will. So when somebody so powerful, so close to God, all of a sudden is doing, trying to do something to you that um, you know it's not right. It, it, it really screws with your mind. The next thing is all over me coming from behind. And he whispered in my ear that God wants you to do this. Because I, I, it was like I was in a nightmare. And I just kind of withdrew inside. I, I, I didn't know what the hell to do. I stopped being an altar boy, which is one of the hardest things in the world to do. No, you don't abruptly quit and stop serving mass, because then you're not a you're not a good Christian. You're not a good Catholic. I mean, you can't easily say, you know, I got raped by father. Males are just supposed to take it, keep on a ticking, and don't worry about it, and, and move on. Something about when you're a victim and you're, you're victimized kind of by society in a way, you, you become a total outsider. So I pretty much pushed the abuse aside for those three years and then I got into ninth grade. And then um, my ninth grade English teacher decides that um, my he, he, had, he had a way of, he was a, a perpetrator. He would always have his hand on my leg and, and kind of move in it inappropriately and kind of brush your genitals as he getting up, you know, and do a little, like, one day after, one Saturday after work, I was coming home and I went right past his uh, house and he asked me, I could help him move some boxes, and I, I mean, he said, no, no, I don't have time. Kind of a carbon copy scenario of, um, you know, uh, Father Ryan. So I froze, and um, he raped me, and um, I just kind of went into the shell. I hate to say it, I, I don't know if Hastings was a totally evil town. The you know, teacher, the priest, it seemed like this big motto of, of uh, evil that nobody wanted to deal with or, or nobody understood the harm that was being done to the children. There seems to be a mindset um, in America that males aren't victims and, and or if we are victims, we're just supposed to get over it and move on. I kind of just, you know, try to push it aside. Basically, started this downward trend of uh, depression and not knowing how to get out of it and, and uh, not feeling safe to tell anybody about what was going on. So you kind of just move on with life. Then Boston happened and and the floodgates opened, and I was able to come forward and deal with it. And, um, but that that was the beginning of me knowing that, okay, I can't get better, I can push on. So then, um, 2013, I decided to come back, go to the U, and, and uh, just 
keep my mind active. I approached the Aurora Center, asked if they had any um, uh, support groups for males. They only had a, a group for females. So that went on. I kept um, bumping my head up against the wall trying to figure out if we could get one. How do, we, how do you go about it? Then all of a sudden I, things started to change. Uh, Aurora Center hired a uh, male outreach director. So they're, they're, that's somebody that's just reaching out to male victims and all fine. And for the last two semesters, we've been trying to get a male support group going.